Hi, Zach here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I want to take you through today an absolutely value-packed Cobalt. It is the CS22. It is an incredible boat inside and out. Easy to trailer, 3,400 pound dry weight, seven foot tall garage door or seven foot tall windshield height so it gets in and out of the garage. Rides on a tandem axle custom heritage trailer. A uh, very, very awesome setup. This particular boat, you got the classic cobalt gray, stainless steel rub rail, very, very classy lines on this boat. Let's take a look at some of the cool features inside. The Cobalt CS22 has a plethora of awesome features and it all starts right back here on the swim platform. Look at the size of this extended platform. It does have Cobalt's patented flip down swim step which is absolutely incredible making it very easy to get on and off the boat. On the back you're going to see you've got all the C-mat flooring, remote stereo controls, oversized stainless steel cleats, oversized ski tow eye. You also have a transom trunk on the back and a spot where the flagpole can go. And while we're at the back of the boat, you can't miss out on the patented uh, flip-up integrated sun, back, uh, sun lounge backrest. Very nice little feature. Also, we have this boat equipped with the fender clips from Cobalt. Great way to uh, hang your fenders off the side of the boat. You have a spot in the front and the back on both sides. Work your way into the cockpit again. You have this nice big walkthrough, and it really brings you into this massive cockpit area. This boat has more cockpit space than I would say most 23, 24 foot boats do. Big L-shaped lounge. Love how the backrest can flip forward to give you an aft facing lounge. Or it can be flipped backwards to give you a nice uh, forward facing seating for your passenger. When it comes to the fit, finish, attention to detail, you look at the stitch work that is done in a cobalt, the upholstery work, you look at the fine details throughout, the JBL sound system, how they tuck the cup holders down underneath, the different use of fabrics, different use of grab handles in uh, good areas, and how wide the seating is. You sit in this boat and you seriously do not feel like you're in a 22 foot boat. Work your way to the other side and you're gonna have a jump seat. This area can be filled in. Uh, filler cushions are available for that area there. When it comes to the helm seat, it's very comfortable. You do have a flip up bolster. Love the stitch work. The combination of colors is very, very nice. The bolster can easily be flipped up. That gives you a nice leg room going in. Work your way to the dash and it's very crisp, very clean. Nice three spoke wheel, stereo controls, easy to access. Good looking array of gauges. In the center, you're gonna see the digital gauges there, which have your depth, water temp, engine temp, all your engine vitals. Just a cool looking setup there. The boat does have an 11 person capacity rating, which is very nice. Work your way to the other side of the boat and you've got the glove box. And it's kinda neat, because it actually has a light in there, which lights up. You also have a nice open storage area here that's all matted. And take a look at the fabric work and the stitch work across the dash, that's very, very sharp. Along with stainless steel brackets for your windshield and stainless steel windshield frame. Gives it a very, very sharp look. So while we're talking about the windshield, do you notice the interior volume you gain by having this windshield actually squared off? It's pretty unique in a sense where most boats have a rounded windshield. It actually takes away from interior space. Uh, Cobalt really put a lot of thought into this and in designing the windshield to really make the boat feel more open when you're in the cockpit area. Work our way forward into the bow area and this is probably where the CS22 really comes to life because it is so extremely deep. And the seating is nicely contoured. It's very big uh, when it comes to how the backrests are. You have cup holders down underneath. Again, JBL sound up front. Your grab rails, oversized cleats. You can see the snaps for the bow and cockpit cover. And right up front here, you have an anchor locker. Simply flip it up. It's got a hydraulic strut. Anchor goes down, and neat, down underneath. It's all padded. Just a good looking setup here on the CS22. Alright, so we're going to switch directions and talk a little bit about storage in a Cobalt. Take a look at the bow storage in this boat. Everything that you can imagine for storage. Nice, easy to access, it's big. Love the way the seats flip up and they're held up on those hydraulic struts. Cobalt certainly does everything they can to make a boat user friendly.
As we work our way to the middle of the boat, you've got this big in-floor locker. A couple of unique things. It's all lined on the bottom, which makes it very nice. Things won't rattle or clank around. You also have two struts that actually hold up the lid, along with stainless hardware. As you work your way to the back of the boat, you've got underseat storage, along with additional underseat storage right under the back. That's also where the additional bimini top poles are. We got the uh, poles for the cockpit cover down there, along with the fire extinguisher. Work our way around to the starboard side. Right behind the uh, driver, you got an insulated cooler. Um, and I love how they do everything on piano hinges. They're very nice, they're very strong, and they're easy to flip up and down. Show off a few of the small features in the boat that add value, and one is the bow block off door. You'll notice they actually use a double fastening system there, one in the floor and one in the side to keep vibration down and to make it a stronger overall bow block off door. Other small features would include things like the way they do their actual stainless steel latching mechanism for their windshield. The windshield is truly locked in when you have it in the open position not just held in with a snap or a button or a magnet it is truly a locked in piece and you can run down the river with that locked in when it comes to items like their bimini top it's all quick release stainless steel hardware oversized tubing you also have easy to use hardware here along with quick release hardware in the back and the bimini top actually has an additional support bar which would go from that clip there up to the bimini top and it adds additional structural support their bimini tops are certainly some of the strongest in the industry and you can run down the water and it will not wobble back and forth so when we're talking about cobalt boats in general i can get very excited and go on for days about their fit their finish their attention to detail their overall quality throughout the boat but one thing that's always impressed me is in a cobalt look at the room in this motor compartment the entire back of the boat flips up. You have dual struts, stainless steel supports, and complete access around the engine. We power the CS22 with a 4.3 liter Volvo, aluminum heads, aluminum block, aluminum manifolds, all closed cooling, 250 horse, a great performance package. Batteries are easy to get to. You've got storage on the other side, but that motor compartment is massive for a boat this size. So that there is a quick video review of the CS22, a boat that I can assure you from a quality standpoint shows all of the value in the world. When it comes to the uh, ride, it is certainly the smoothest, quietest, driest riding 22 foot boat I've ever been on. It is absolutely remarkable. A boat that dollar for dollar is certainly one that I would say to take a look at, compare it to others on the market, and I think Cobalt certainly shows why it's a winning combination. Again, I am Zach here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. I would love the opportunity to show you the CS22, answer any questions you have, and I appreciate your time watching our video. Thank you again and have a great day.